Hey everyone, Duck is here. Today I'm going on Discord and catching some weird individuals. Now this first guy here is Frank, and I actually caught him on a different chatting website, and we exchanged names, genders, ages. He said he was 45, so, you know, just take that into consideration here when reading these logs. I say, hi Frank, I'm Natalie. He says, hi Natalie, wanna see pics of me? Yes. And then I sent him some adult decoy images that I found on Google. I say, what do you look like? He tells me, you are beautiful. I only have pictures of my blank. Now, Frank is already going off the deep end here, but um, I tell him I can give you more pictures if you show me your face, and his cravings just got the best of him, so I think he just took a picture right now and sent it. Now, Frank, word of advice, but I would probably wear a cap or a hat on top of this hair here, because uh, it's not doing you any justice. I think you would look 10 times better with a cap on. Anyway, <laughs> I tell him, you're so handsome, I have a thing for beards, that is good. So, do you want to have some fun on cam to cam for free? Now, I'm sure you can, uh, you know, put two and two together to know what cam to cam is. Uh, it's not fucking good, especially coming from a man like this. But I, I continue, I tell him, these are some more pics of me like I promised. So then afterwards, I tell him in a bit, and I also tell him, you know, do you want to have a relationship instead of just cam to cam? And he tells me, let's start off with cam to cam first and see how it goes. If I say cam to cam one more time, I'm gonna fucking lose it. So I tell him, okay, my sister is about to leave the room, so we can in a couple minutes. I tell him, what do you want to do on cam? Because I wanted to see what he meant, and he said, let's get blank and, uh, you know, all kinds of other shit that I, I can't show. I mean, I shouldn't have to explain why this is weird, because quite frankly, no pun intended, <laughs> um, it's pretty obvious. I tell him I would love that, Frank, and he says, mmm. Now, this is just a cliche thing a lot of these guys do. They always say, mmm. It's disturbing as fuck, because it's like they're eating something tasty, but it's like you can do a lot with your imagination to, uh, make that sound really fucking weird. I say, almost ready. He said, okay, you going to call when you're ready? Yes. And then, we never got to call because he unadded me, but at that point the damage had already been done You had already said what you wanted to do sent an image of your face and just talked really graphically with this fucking girl So Frank, I'm, I'm glad you didn't actually call me, but it's not like you're innocent now The next individual is Jordan. Uh, he is 29 uh, He says hi hi with my age and gender. I'm Natalie Hey, ready to show me a pic? And then I send him decoy images. These are Google imaged and they're adults, don't worry. I've been getting a lot of comments telling me what kind of decoy images I use. Obviously, I'm gonna use images of adults, but I guess I need to reassure that, so. He says, you look very blank and hot. Do you show blank pics? Now, I censored this because it's fucking weird, but he's asking for very, very bad graphic pictures of this person. And that's where he just draws the line, you know? I said, I don't have any, sorry, but I can video call you soon and show you. But how do you look, by the way, Jordan? And you know, he just ignores it and says, do you want to dare me to blank in bath of cold water to see how long I can stay in it for? I have to censor another word yet again, but it has something to do with his meat. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what kind of fucking fan fictions this guy reads, but that, t that type of shit, I'm not into at all. Then I ask how old he is, and he says 29. I tell him my age again, and I say I consent to it. And I say, if you're okay with it, then I'm fine with it too. And he says, yes, of course. Can I get uh, yet again another graphic picture before I do it though? So then I send him more pictures of me. Uh, these are not graphic because I'm not, I'm not going in that part of the internet. But, um, you know, they're good enough for him. And he says, wow, you look very blank and hot. So then he says, can you show me on call first? then I will put my cam on. I say, yes, okay. And then this guy just talks about me showing my jugs. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this guy, but I mean, he has an obsession with my jugs apparently, and he just wants me to keep showing them. So then this is where I called him and caught him in 4K. So I'm gonna play the clip here. Oh shit, is that him? What's up, Jordan? You're right, just caught you in 4K, bro. Why are you asking for a to send them? Yeah. That's what I fucking thought. That's what I fucking thought, Jordan. So this next individual is named Bailey. He is 18 years old, and I caught him in, again on a different site. And he basically started the conversation with, hi, I say, hi back. What do you look like? This is me. He said, you're blank, reiterating my age. I told him yes, and then he sent a heart eye emoji. Then he sent a picture of himself, but he deleted it because I just confronted him. But let me just give you the picture. He looks like a My Little Pony character. I mean, I don't know what the pink hair is about, but you know what? And then he sent me another image that he deleted it again, but this is what it was. I mean, he looks like an off-brand Luke AFK, if you know that YouTuber, because, I mean... <laughs> 
But we're not here to critique people's looks, so let's continue. I tell him, you're very handsome, I love mustaches, thank you, and you're shirtless, flushed. Yeah, sorry, I should put a top on. I told him, no, you have a nice neck and chest, so keep it off, you know, the standard shit that all girls say. <laughs> Then he says, show live photo of you. And I don't know why he said this, but you know, I tried sending another decoy image and he actually fell for it. He said, that you now? And then I said, yes. And then he sent me a, a, like a picture of him where he's shirtless and his, it's really disgusting. I'm gonna have to blur like most of it, but I just wanna put attention on the background here. It looks like a fucking crime scene. This man clearly doesn't put in the time to like clean his room. Now, if you take a look at my room, you can see that I actually cleaned it and I don't leave a cookie container next to the fucking trash can. I don't know what the fuck that is, but the background is just like trash and bags and shit that he just doesn't bother throwing away. Even the bed looks fucking disgusting. It looks like someone took a shit on it and then smeared it all over the place. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, but my response to this was, I love your body. You're really manly. Thank you. I don't know if this is weird, but I'm a sub and, uh, you know, some, some random shit that I always say to these guys. And then he tells me, take the top off. Let's get even on clothes. I, I really shouldn't have to tell you why that's fucking weird. And then I tried to change the conversation and tell him one RP because I don't really have a photo to send him. And I don't want to see what the AI is going to give me when I put that in the fucking prompt. So he says, show me that body first and be a good girl. Keep in mind, this is an adult that sent a very graphic image of himself and is also asking for a graphic image of this girl. Just just keep that in mind. I keep trying to make an excuse that I'd rather do it in video calls so I can confront him and I just didn't want to fucking send him an image, but he just kept insisting on it. And then when I took too long, he said, you sending it. He just basically kept begging for it. He seemed really desperate for this fucking picture. And afterwards, I just had enough of it and I called him without even a warning and he joined and this is how it went. So I'm about to confront Bailey on a call and let's see what he has to say. Good evening, Bailey. Care to explain the images that you sent me? You actually asked for a few pictures as well. Do you have any explanation? They really never stay, do they? And then afterwards, he just deleted all the images he sent me, not knowing that I already downloaded them. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna be reporting this to the police, Bailey. All right, so this next guy's name is Joe. I say, my name's Natalie. He says, how are you doing? I say, relaxing. How old are you? 19. I'm in bed. What are you wearing? Just a tank top. Nice, may I see? What RP you want? You know, for someone who's 19, this guy's grammar surely is subpar at best. I mean, it's like he has the grammar of a fourth grader. I tell him here with a picture. He says, I was hoping for a tank top and nothing else. You know, it's already getting a bit weird, but let's continue. I asked him what he looked like, and I guess he didn't read the message in time because he just said, instead of RP, how about we watch each other get off? Now, I don't know what the fuck that means. Get off what? Get off Discord? Get off? I mean, I think he's talking about something fucking weird, but think about that for a second. Who the hell says that? And at first I thought there's no way someone who's 19 says that kind of shit, but then he sends me an image and that's what confirms it. I mean, this fucking testicle head looks like the dad from Gumball because there's no way a 19 year old can look like that. Either way, it's fucking weird, but I just wanted to throw that out there. I tell him, I love your face and eyes. I'd love to kiss you. This made me really cringe. I, I don't feel that way at all. I mean, I'd rather shit on a dragon's lips and then kiss the dragon than this motherfucker. Nice to meet you. Do you want to watch each other get off? What does it mean, Joe? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Luckily, he explained what he meant afterwards, which I definitely have to blur out because, I mean, he was skipping all the steps and just getting into the action. So then I took this as him wanting to call me, so I had to make an excuse that my sister was in my room. And then he asks, how old's your sister? Now, I tell him the sister's two years older than me, and uh, it's, you know, it's still fucking bad. And he says, does she want to join us? Really, Joe? What the fuck, man? You know, I don't understand what's going through Richard Watterson's head here. <laughs> so then I called him and he showed his face on camera, which made me have to hold in my laughter. And this is how it went. Hello, Joe. Is this appropriate to be talking to a f like this? I know you're rushing to leave the call, but yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's like a fucking, it's like an epidemic. They all do the same thing. And that guy is not 19, I mark my words. So this next guy's name is Jack. He says he's 19. I say, hi, I'm Natalie, female with the age. Hey, can I see you? I say, of course. And then I give, you know, pictures of me. And then he says, 19, that okay? Of course. And then he says, fuck, you're hot. You know, Jack, I don't mean to be the fucking grammar police. And I know first grade spelling is a little bit challenging for you, but I'm pretty sure that's the wrong form of your. I mean, I just had to throw that out 
out there. This man's an adult and can't even spell right. That says a lot, but it's a common trend with people like this. I ask him, what do you look like? And he just completely ignores it and asks me to show him my body. I don't understand these guys' mentality because he expects the person to send pictures of them, but he won't send any of himself. You can tell he's being very cautious. But then when you go down to here, I send more pictures, fake pictures, of course, and he says 100 would blank. Now, I'm pretty sure you know what he was implying there. And then afterwards, he sends me his meat. Uh, not just one pick, but two picks. And this really threw me for a loop because after the last guy who looks like Gumball's dad, this guy's meat looks like that, but just the chin. Like, this man's meat looks like a fucking double chin. I don't understand how he can just proudly display this. Not exactly the type of meat that women would be getting in line for. Anyway, this is where I called him and just take a wild guess on what you think happened. All right, so I'm about to confront Jack here. Uh, we're gonna video call and he thinks that he's gonna be having a fun time, but... Really, he's just gonna get himself caught. Hello, Jack. What do you think the things you were saying were appropriate? Yeah. Jack, I could've I could have sworn. Oh, you're coming back? I mean, if you have any explanation. <laughs> Did he just misclick joining back? Now, I reported all of these people to law enforcement and hopefully shit gets done because this is absolutely disgusting. If you enjoyed this video, check out this one as well. You won't regret it. Peace out.